What's up guys, Edrune here, and today we're going to be covering how to bind in part one of our programming series on our Budget Basher Race Drone. Stay tuned! Real quick, we're going to show you what we're working with today. We have the Budget Basher Race Drone. This has the RXSR receiver tucked in there. And obviously we have the Tyrannus QX7 transmitter. Now if you haven't checked it out already, um, check out right here. I'll pop it up here in the top corner here. Check out my Budget Basher Race Drone build series playlist where I put this all together step by step to show you how to build your own Budget Basher Race Drone. One more thing you, I definitely recommend you doing before you bind, um, and I'm gonna put a link right here for this video, right here in the corner, is um, flashing the correct firmware to your RXSR or any other type of FR Sky receiver. Uh, you wanna make sure that you flash the newest and the correct firmware, whether you live in the United States or outside of the US, you're gonna, would depend on what type of firmware you download. FCC for the United States and EU firmware for outside the United States. This, I believe, will make a difference in how your receiver performs. So, you're ready to go ahead and bind your Tyrannus QX7 to your uh, RXSR or, or any other type of uh, FR Sky receiver, whether it be XM Plus or a XSR um, or, or a XM. Uh, they're all very similar in the way they bind. So the easiest thing to do, obviously, is to have your receiver pulled out uh, so you can go ahead and gain access to the bind button. If you look right here in the corner, there is a little tiny button. You see where I cut the heat shrink back just enough to be able to gain access. This is your bind button. Also, this button is also a function button that will change the receiver from SBUS to PPM mode. It is important to know that. Next, we need to put our Tyrannus QX7 or any other uh, FR Sky radio uh, into binding mode. So we're gonna turn our power on. Hi Eric, welcome back. Angle mode. Now I gotta set it up, uh, I'm not gonna be using this particular model for this so basically, I'm just going to copy this model and rename it. We're going to go ahead and uh, make a new model for this new build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the menu. I'm going to go to source one and I'm going to push in on this function button. And we're going to go to copy model. We're going to come down here to the open model, which is number four. And we're going to click this button again. Now you can see we have the same exact model on model four. So we're gonna select this model. Angle mode. Now all I'm gonna do is change the name. So we go out of here, push the menu button in the three lines. We're gonna page over and we're gonna change the model name. Go ahead and hit the wheel here, push it in, and you can change and say whatever you want. We're gonna make this one say, uh, we'll, we'll call this the uh, the budget bash, if that'll fit. Maybe we'll do bud bash. Yeah, we'll do bud bash. So scroll over and I'll speed this up. And there you go. Bud bash is the name of our new model. Next, we need to hit the menu button, page over one, take the scroll wheel, turn it counterclockwise, scroll on up till you get to the bind, BND, and you're gonna push in this button here, and that's gonna start chirping. For the next part, you're gonna need your LiPo battery. This can be kind of tricky. Take like a, a, a paper clip or like a little pencil, something you can use to push this button because this button right here is very difficult to push. Let's take a look at what the receiver looks like when we plug it in without pushing the bind button. Okay, you can see we have a blue light on the receiver. That indicates that the receiver is in S-Bus mode. 
You can also see there is a red light that is flashing. This means that this receiver is not bound. What we want to see is a solid green light. Go ahead and unplug. We're going to turn our bind back on our transmitter. And now this next part is the hardest part. We're going to hold down on the bind button on the receiver and power up the quad while holding the bind button. You can now see we have a flashing red light and a solid green light. Turn bind off the transmitter so it stops chirping. Now go ahead and unplug your battery power. If it's bound correctly, when we plug in the LiPo, it should turn to a solid green light. Let's see what happens. And we do. Success. We have a solid green light, which means that we are now properly bound. If you're wondering how to wire up your RXSR uh, to your flight controller, this is the Holy Bro Kakute F4V2. I'm going to put a link in the, up top here to show you to my uh, how to install your receiver uh, and, and my budget basher playlist. So you can go ahead and hook up our, uh, our quad to Betaflight by plugging in the micro USB on the quadcopter. Do is double check and come down to the receiver tab and see if we actually have signal. And turn the radio on. Go ahead and power up the quad. All right, now in Betaflight, go down to the receiver tab. And we're going to go ahead and move the sticks. See if we got movement on the right channels. And we do. All the channels are working properly. So this test is all done. We are all good to go in Betaflight. And that's pretty much it. Um, as far as binding and making sure in Betaflight that the receiver is talking to the transmitter, and they both are. Uh, so everything is working great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And we're going to dive into more of these programming series. Um, we're going to set up our VTX with Smart Audio. We're also going to be setting up uh, telemetry uh, from the to the receiver to the transmitter so we can get cool things like um, Lewis scripts and all sorts of awesome, just awesome functionality. This quad here is packed with uh, basically all the newest uh, functionality as far as smart audio and telemetry go, uh, smart port, all that good stuff. But uh, we'll be diving in that in this series. So if you got any questions, leave them down in the comments, and I will try to get to them the best I can. Until next time, guys, E-Drone, out.